Jack in the box. Bit, BitTensor is permissionless equity compensation. Basically, user-generated incentive mechanisms. Kind of like how YouTube allowed people to do user-generated content where you can upload a video and the sum total of humanity is basically the data generation source for uh, the YouTube data set. BitTensor basically does that for incentives. User-generated incentives. So really profound. The closest thing we have to down in the world for humanity is this thing called capitalism and startups. User-generated incentives appear in the form of startups or companies. The big difference with BitTensor subnets, alpha tokens is if you squint, they look like equity. So I think when people start to understand this more and more, it will profoundly change the technology ecosystem, all of startups, all of venture capital, and all of capitalism. And again, I don't even like the word capitalism that much because it really is incentivism. It's how all the incentives are working. And you're right. The opposite of IT, and a lot of people don't really know this, but it's fundamentally true. The inverse opposite of IT is this thing called open source. And over time, it became more and more popular, even outside of the auspices and source code. So now it's actually elevated beyond source code. You can apply open source to AI models. You can apply open source to data, to images, to content, to books. There's creative commons, right? So there's all these interesting ways of basically saying, I want to actually create legal frameworks that guarantee my content will never be trapped in the sort of bounds of this thing called IP, intellectual property. So BitTensor basically does to economic incentives what open source has done to software. And what has open source done to software? Massively accelerated the rate of innovation, the rate of universal adoption, and the rate of trust and security of those economic, of those, of those incentives that produce technology. BitTensor is doing this for economic incentives. So all of these catalysts, it's going to do exactly what the greatest decentralization project ever did, which was, and the greatest open source project ever, which is TCP IP. Like the internet protocol created the 10 trillion in value you were talking about earlier. It's totally open source, totally decentralized. Products were made on top of it that captured the value. They didn't just give away all the value. It's not free, but it was free, the core of it. And that same thing now is the seeds of that is going to happen in, in, in BitTensor very soon. There's a lot of things that get in the way of doing something new and interesting and innovative and, and different. And to the extent that you can eliminate all of that friction will massively increase prosperity and abundance for our species. This is like really important stuff. And so that's why BitTensor is so important.